People of the internet, hello, it is your favorite Zim Apex YouTuber or regular YouTuber, Kexaro here. Now today I have a user requested video, which is an introduction to the Zim Apex Manager. So if you guys do not know how to use the Zim Apex Manager or you're just getting started with it, basically today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how it works, how to use it, and how to get, and get the most out of the app. Uh, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, leave a like, comment down below, and uh, yeah, that's basically it for this part. If you guys have any Zim questions, leave them down in the comment section. Either me or one of my subscribers will answer them. We're a pretty fun fan base. We try and answer and we try and help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for 720. I have a couple giveaways going on right now. So make sure you scroll through all my old videos and try and see some of the giveaways that I have got going on. Thank you guys so much once again and enjoy the video. So. Hello people of the Zim community. Today I have a user requested video. If you guys have any requests for videos, make sure you leave them down in the comments down below. Make sure you also leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more awesome content. I do giveaways, I do reaction videos, I do a bunch of things not only pertaining to the Zim. So if you like an awesome well-rounded YouTuber, I am your guy. Now let's get right into the video. Now today, this is a user requested video. As I have said previously, question is how, what the subscriber wanted to know is how to start off with the Zim Apex Manager and essentially an introduction to it. So before we even start, I do use an iPhone obviously, but what you're gonna do is turn on your Bluetooth so you can connect to your Zim. Now that that's done, I'm gonna show you guys the Zim Apex Manager and basically how it works. So if you don't have the app, all you have to do is literally look up Zim Apex Manager and boom, first thing it's free, nothing to pay for. And once you download that, you're ready to go. Now, when you first open it, it should ask you to connect. All you have to do is press your Zim Apex button and you should be fine. Now you can see that it's, there's a lot of things going on in this picture right now. So what I'm gonna do is explain each and every part. The top left is gonna be how you manage the current configuration. Right under that is your Hertz for your mouse. And the gray box is gonna be your equipment that you have plugged into the Apex Hub. The top right is your settings. The right under that is your download for updates. And in the middle is going to be what console you play on and what configuration you are using for which game. We're gonna start off in your settings. We're gonna click on the top right and load configuration. This is for when you want to switch games. As you can see, I have three things. Rainbow Six Siege, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Titanfall 2. Now I wanna play Rainbow Six Siege, so we're gonna click on that. And now we have that. You're gonna click on new configuration. All these games are the games that the Zim Apex is able to have settings for. As you can see, there are a bunch. Now let's say you wanna use the Zim Apex for Fallout 4. You're gonna click on it. Now on the bottom, there's gonna be four consoles, the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, and PS3. Now, as you can see, Xbox 360 and PS3 is grayed out, which means that they do not have a, that this game is not available for that console. Now I play on PS4, so all you have to do is click PS4, and it's gonna add the configuration. Zim Apex requires your game sensitivity to be set to maximum. Your game may also need additional settings changed to ensure optimal aiming performance. View latest game information now. Click no. If you click on yes, it will go straight to your browser and show you the Zim Apex forms. But I am here to teach you how to use it, so there's no need for that right now. Global settings. Now here is a bunch of things that enable a slew of other options. So make sure enable export configuration is on. Also change your response rate to 1000 Hertz if your mouse is able to. That is it. Save and leave. Below that is manage configurations. This shows you which configurations you have, I'm fine with the configuration right now. Save changes, yes. Now, the download button. This is to check for an update. We do have an update. So all you have to do is click download and really quickly it adds new games and different configurations for you to use for more games. Now that the download is complete, click OK and you are fully updated. Now, on the top grayed out, this shows your equipment that you are using. If you click the PS4, it shows that you're using a PlayStation controller, which is wireless. The G stands for Logitech Gaming, which is the mouse I use. If we click on it, it shows you exactly which product it is, the G502. Now, the top right is your keyboard, which is going to be the Corsair K55. And it says Corsair Gaming K55 RGB keyboard. Now, the top left shows your configuration. Click on that. Identity. 
You can change the name for it. You can change the name for it or you can change the color. When you change the color, it changes the color on your Zim. I think this color seems really cool. That's it. Swipe right. This is going to show your aim and sensitivity, movement, and actions. Then analog. Do not touch this. The thing that you have to worry about is actions and aim. This controls how fast your mouse moves and game. Make sure that when you go to here, synchronize is not on off, synchronize is not on default, it is on common. Movement is as usual, WASD. If you like a walk key, push it and press a button on your mouse to have the Zim walk slower in game. Now, changing your settings on the Zim is the easiest thing I have ever done. As you can see, left mouse is fire. If you wanna change that to whatever you want it to be, all you do is click on what the previous one is and click on your keyboard or mouse. I'm gonna click the shift key. As you can see, immediately it switches. I'm gonna put it back to left. Inventory up, press on that. Let's say I want that to be alt, boom, there you go. Now that I'm done, I actually don't want to play Fallout 4. Let's delete it. Manage configurations. Go down to Fallout 4 and press on the X. Boom. There you go. Save changes. And there you are. I know this tutorial is short and sweet, which is how I like it to be for my subscribers. If you would like a more in-depth review, there will probably be another tutorial out there. This is for the basics. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Welcome to the Kickstarter gang.